Welcome back and thanks for joining us. If you're new to our channel, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be notified of each new video. In the last video, we installed paint protection film for our brand new 2019 Ford Transit cargo van. If you're installing PPF yourself, this will help you to learn from our mistakes. In this video, we're installing Killmat sound deadening pads. This proved to be a much easier job. Although it still took half a day, all it takes is patience and a little elbow grease. Hey guys, so we finally received a few items for the van. So that means it's time to get our hands dirty. Hey guys, this is Dory and I'm Mena. We travel with our lovely dog Fiona to help you discover the most beautiful spots and to share with you what it's like to live as a nomad. So subscribe and welcome to our channel. Uh, we got the kill mats and the protective vinyl 3M uh, sheet. It's like a plastic that we have to put on the hood and a little bit on the roof. However, they do require some tools. We don't have those. So I'm on my way to Dolorama and hopefully I could pick up everything that we need for cheap. Hey guys, so for our next project, for our van build, we're gonna be installing this Kill Mat Sound Deadening Pads. So, pretty straightforward. Even though it's pretty straightforward, we wanted to make a video about it so that you know how to do it, you could do it with confidence. And uh, the box is about 30 pounds, so that's how much weight you'll be adding to your van. If you use a whole box of Kill Mat, it's 50 millimeters thick and 50 square feet. We paid $90 Canadian and shipping was free with Prime. There are 47 sheets and the dimensions are 9.8 by 15.7 inches or 250 by 400 millimeters. These are some of the tools that you're gonna need. You're gonna need some alcohol to use as a degreaser. You're going to degrease the inside panels where you're going to be installing the kill mat sound deadening pads. You'll need an X-Acto blade and some kind of X-Acto mat or cardboard box, whatever. You'll probably need a Sharpie. And we got these rollers and it's specifically for this kind of installation. And they were about $25. So we're gonna link in the description below all the tools that you're gonna need and how much it costs. Some people use uh, glass water bottles or wine bottles, but we wanted to use the proper tools. So that's what we did. We bought these for $25. Now, we first have to remove these tie downs. So we're gonna get started with that. And I'm going to wipe down the inside panels where we're going to install the Kill Mat sound deadening pads. Now you're gonna notice that some panels are already covered by sound deadening mats installed by the manufacturer. So we're just gonna leave those as is. And keep in mind that you only need to cover 30% of a surface for it to be effective. So you don't need to wallpaper the van in Kill Mat. That's really overkill, if you wanna say it like that. We do wanna put the Kill Mat forward of where the first fan is gonna be. So right where there's kind of a slope in the roof yeah. and eventually we're going to remove the headliner and put some back there too. But we don't have the tools or the knowledge right now to remove the headliner because we want to be careful of the airbags. So that's going to be a project for another day. So we're just doing mainly the interior of the van. So walls, wheel wells and ceiling and then the headliner we're going to deal with another day. Yeah, when we're going to do the insulation, I guess we'll do the uh, sound deadening. Yeah. 
Exactly. So we also want to let you know how long it's going to take from everything that we've read. It could take from half a day to a whole day, depending on how picky you are about the details. So you also, one thing I forgot is you also want to wear gloves because the edges can be very sharp and you can cut yourself. So I'll show you the gloves we have. These are regular latex coated work gloves. You can get these at the dollar store, hardware store, pretty well anywhere, but you want to stay safe and not slice yourself while you're doing the work. So we want to say a big shout out to Artful Vegan and Molly Mish. We watched both of their videos to give us some guidance on how to install this. Now for the wheel wells, we're going to cover them completely because that is a big source of that tinny noise that, that really, that's a bad example. <laughs> that tinny, that high-pitched tinny noise that feels like you're in a tin can while you're going down the highway. So we came here and we noticed it right away. And we're hoping that after this, after we install this, when we go home, we're gonna be able to hear a huge difference. And we're gonna report back to you on whether that was the case or not. So right now, I've already kind of measured for both sides of the front of the wheel well, and I'm gonna cut it using an X-Acto blade and um, an X-Acto mat. But again, you could use scissors whatever works for you. So this is how we're going to start. We're going to peel back just a little bit and you want to do this on a day that's 14 degrees Celsius or warmer because it's going to be easier to deal with this material and the adhesive. So you first put it on um, this small little part here. Now can you see that? And you're going to peel away the backing slowly. So you see what I'm doing here? As I'm removing the paper, I am just using my fingers to stick that down. And then once that's done, we're gonna use a roller to make sure that all those bubbles are flat. Flat, flat, flat. And I made some little cuts in here so that it was easier to shape it around the curve. And I have to give credit to Artful Vegan for showing us that in her video. So this is not something that's very difficult. It's just that it's gonna take time. So now that that's stuck down to the surface, we're gonna roll it so that it is completely, completely flat. And I'm not sure if you could tell in the video, but it really makes a huge difference. That's why I'm happy we went with the right tools and not a jar. Yeah. Yeah, it really makes a difference. And you can see that this shape is working well in this little groove. I think I have an air pocket in there. Yeah. Oh well. Ça va être beau. Eventuellement, oui. Eventuellement. Ça va bien? Pas si mal, merci. Oh, oui, oui, oui. Oui. Oh, oui. Tu es en train de tout isoler ça, ou non? Euh, en premier, ça, c'est pour euh, éliminer le son oui, comme oui. tu es dans un. Le bruit, ouais. Ouais, exact. On, on en installe ça en premier. Puis ensuite, on va faire l'isolation, puis les planchers. Et euh, en fait, euh, vendredi, attends, on a les deux fans. Un fan là, puis un fan là qui va être installé, Mais alors c'est... Le système solaire aussi, il va s'en venir. Oui, oui. Oh, yes! Ça 
So this is really just flattening everything. Yeah, I think that one is done. <laughs> we forgot to set the timer, so we just set it. We figure we spent about 10 minutes already and we have maybe a sixth of the wheel well done or a fifth, so not bad. <laughs> now, uh, one down, 47 to go. <laughs> So now we're doing the interior wall panels and at first I was cutting the mats in thirds and now I'm cutting them in half. It seems to fit okay. So what we do is we just unroll a little bit at the top and as you pull the paper down, you're just smoothing that or ad adhering it to the wall. Now it looks like the back of this, I don't know, it feels like kind of tar-like. So that's the adhesive that you're working with. So just keep in mind, if you get some on you, it stains and it's really sticky. And another reason why you wear the gloves is because these are very sharp as well. These pieces of sheet metal are super, super sharp. So you just wanna protect your hands. So now, I'm putting the second piece. So this is one mat just cut in half. That seems to fit these cavities a little bit better than in thirds. There's more coverage. And then you just roll it out. So you really want it to be flat. So come take a look at the difference. That is super flat and this still has air in those bubbles. So you want it to be flat, flat, flat. And it, it's not difficult, it's easy work. It's just that it takes time. If I compare this to doing the film installation, the paint protective film installation, I would do this <laughs> over that anytime because it's a lot more detail work and you have wind blowing and dust and air bubbles and everything like that. This is easy. It's just that it takes time and a little bit of elbow grease. My shoulders are burning. I bet. So I've been placing the mats and Dory's rolling them. And we're gonna show you our progress. We've done the bottom cavities, the wall, the wheel well. I've placed some of the mats on the ceiling there. So, and there on the roof where we're not gonna have the fan. So I still have to fill these cavities here. I have to fill these cavities here. And then maybe I'll put one here and here. The fan is gonna go there. And then I'll put one here. And on the other side, the fan's gonna go there. We have to do behind the headliner and also behind this panel, but we don't have the tool to remove this panel here. So that's gonna be for another time, just like behind the headliner, because we don't have the tools or the know-how right now to remove that headliner. Same thing with the, uh, the door panel. And that's looking pretty good. Yeah, it's starting to look like a spaceship. And uh, so we have in the door as well. So I'm not really sure if we're removing these or not. I suspect that we're gonna have to, I just don't know how to do it. Uh, so we've done those. So that's where we are so far. We're 
hurrying up to get this done before sundown. So we're already more than halfway through the box, so that's promising. So yeah, let's get back to work. All right, guys, so we're gonna end the video here because we're losing daylight and we won't be able to film at a certain point. Sunset is at seven o'clock. So let's see how long it took us. We're about 20 minutes from being done and it took us two and a half hours. So two and a half hours plus 20, let's say 30, three hours total if you're two people doing this. We have seven sheets left in the box so we used 40 and we still have to place them behind the headliner in the two back doors we have to remove the panel the two panels and in the sliding door we have to remove the panel so right now we just don't have the tools and the knowledge to remove the panels without ruining everything <laughs> and especially for the headliner because we're concerned about the airbags so that's gonna be for another day. I assume it won't take longer than an hour. So grand total, you're probably looking at four hours if you're two people. If you're one person, you should definitely count on eight hours, so a full day. So in the description, I'm going to describe what tools we used, what we bought, and how much it cost us. And again, you're adding about 30 pounds of weight with 50 square feet of 50 millimeter kill mat matting. We hope this video was helpful to you and that you'll be able to take on this kind of work in your own van with confidence. So don't forget to check out The Artful Vegan and Mali Mish and see how they installed their kill mat matting. So we'll see you in the next video. Next project of our van build. Take care.